Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use a tree diagram to solve a probability question. It's part of the grade 11 and older syllabus. Remember to read properly in probability. I'm reading it to you. It says the probability of getting the first answer correct in a quiz is 0.6. If the first answer is correct, the probability of getting the second answer correct rises to 0.7. However, if the first answer is wrong, the probability of getting the next answer correct is 0.4. The three things they're asking us is first, draw a tree diagram for the above information, determine the probability of getting both answers correct, and then determine the probability of getting the second answer correct. You will see that the tree diagram helps us to find the answers to these two questions. The first two branches will show me whether I had the first answer correct or wrong. They said up here the probability of getting the first answer correct in the quiz is 0.6, which I'll write over there. Then we see what is the remaining probability of getting it wrong. And that'll be 0.4, because these always add up to 1. Now I set up two more branches from here and from there. The first question was answered. Now we're going to answer the second question. So the second question from here could be correct or wrong. And this one can be correct or wrong. So we can start with the first one correct and then get the second one correct. Start correct and then get it wrong. Start it wrong and get it correct. Start it wrong and get it wrong again. You don't have to put in those little ones and twos that I put in there. They've got no purpose if you don't want to. Now they said that if the first answer is correct, the probability of getting the second answer correct is 0.7. That we will fill in over there. Then, if the first one was correct and the second one wasn't correct, what is remaining for the wrong part? And that is 0.3. Again, those two must add up to 1. Then they said, however, if the first answer is wrong, the probability of getting the next answer correct is 0.4. So wrong correct. I write my 0.4 in here. Then what is remaining for the wrong answer? Yes, 0.6 because these two must also add up to 1. Now you are actually finished with question 1, draw the tree diagram. But I like to work out all my calculations on the tree diagram. I write in here a CC because it's a correct, correct answer. Correct, wrong answer. Wrong, correct answer. WC, wrong, wrong answer. So I like to write that in. Then we times the 0, 0,6 with the 0, 0,7 over there, the 0, 0,6 with the 0, 0,3 over there, 0, 0,4 with the 0, 0,4 over there, and the 0, 0,4 with the 0, 0,6 over there. This will give me the probability of correct, 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 wrongs probability, wrong, correct probability, and wrong, wrongs probability. And this we can work out on the calculator. Now I have all this information they gave me in a tree diagram with everything I might need. The next question asks, determine the probability of getting both answers correct. So that is that correct, correct answer over there. One way of writing it would be, find the probability of correct and correct, which is the probability of the first correct times the probability of the second correct. That is then 0, 0,6 times 0, 0,7, which you got 0, 0,6 correct, 0, 0,7 correct. So that multiplication sum comes here. And the probability of getting both answer is correct is then 0.42. The last question says determine the probability of getting the second answer correct. If you look in this planning of mine, you'll see there's a CC, a C at the second place. No C, at, there's a C at the second place. So those two both have a correct on the second place. So they determine the probability of getting the second answer correct. So it's those two added together. One of the ways to write it would be probability of getting second correct is probability of Correct and correct, plus probability of wrong and correct. This one I will fetch from there, and this one I'll go and fetch there. Then I'll work it out with my calculator. Then my final answer will be determine the probability of getting the second answer correct. The probability will be 0, 0.58 of getting the second answer correct. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy mathematics.